So is Peloton the best stock to buy right now as it drops to lows of nearly $100 a share? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech Solutions. Solution. Do you guys know that we love talking about stocks that report earnings and that unfortunately sell off, but fortunately for people like you and I that were not already invested, this could be a dip buy opportunity. But is this a stock that we want to blindly buy the dip on? Well, if uh, if Peloton, my, uh, my apologies, if Peloton were to drop to lows of $100 a share and were to make a recovery to back to 130, right? Again, 30% is what, what it offers. Peloton as of right now is down over 8% on the day. I want to share with you why maybe blindly buying the dip is maybe not the best idea, right? Let's talk about the earnings. So as of right now, Peloton, when they reported their earnings per share, I bet you haven't seen one like this in a while, 74% is what they reported. They missed earnings per share by 74%. Revenue was in the green. Now, what was said and what caused there's to be such a miss, right? When it comes down to earnings per share. Well, one of the articles, and again, please make sure that you do your own due diligence. I wanna share three things within that article. What was the last thing you guys heard about Peloton? Well, there was unfortunately a recall. They call, they recalled over 100,000 units. Recalls are very expensive, right? This really took a hit on their overall net profit, right? With that being said, this recall, when it comes down to logistics aspects, you guys know that that was an issue that Peloton was previously facing when they were inquiring about a potential facility now within the United States. On top of that, Due to that recall, they haven't been able to sell that treadmill that caused a number of accidents and a couple of deaths, right? So that item that they used to be able to sell that was one of their top selling treadmills is no longer for sale. So you can see that in the near future, that doesn't look very promising because when it comes down to the revenue that that specific product you know, brought in, it's no longer there. On top of that, right, we talked about the recall, we talked about not uh, putting that treadmill back in place, but on top of that, one of their bikes, also one of their top selling products, is going to take a 20% price cut. So what does that mean for future revenue, right? Less revenue, right? So it does not look as promising as you might think for the near future. The reason I'm sharing this with you is I want you to understand what was said within this meeting. Please make sure that you do a further you know, analysis and instead of blindly buying the dip, Peloton can, I mean, today's the first day that the market opened after it reported earnings. Peloton can still continue to sell off. So maybe being in a rush to blindly buy the dip is maybe not the best idea. And that's all I'm trying to share with you based off of what it is that I learned and what instilled fear in certain or current investors is that the future is unknown based off of how they're going to make up that revenue. And again, those treadmills that need to be put back into the market to be able to bring back that previous revenue that they had before. Um, again, it, it's super interesting to look into Peloton to see how they did so well during the pandemic condition. If you guys look at the day chart, you can see that Peloton peaked right during late 2020 and early 2021. We've seen this a lot. And ever since then, it's been on a consistent pullback. We are seeing a lot of consolidation here. I want Peloton to do extremely well. But as of right now, it looks like they have a couple things to figure out. And that's exactly what was said during uh, their call. So uh, I'm very excited to follow up with it. I wanted to talk about it because I love talking about cheap and oversold stocks. But I wanted at least to share what it is that I learned on maybe why it's not the best buy right now and why it can still continue to sell off. So maybe it, you know, Patience is going to be a big thing when it comes down to knowing when to buy Peloton and instead of rushing into it. So uh, I'm very excited to follow up with it. Uh, I now re-added it to my watch list and it's as simple as that, right? All we can do is instead of blind, blindly buying the dip when it comes down to stocks that we potentially see value in, taking that simple step of setting effective alerts, as you guys can see, and as well, adding it to your watch list and following up with it. So instead of blindly buying the dip, buying when it actually makes sense and when a true opportunity actually begins to present itself. So uh, let me know if you guys like Peloton down in the comment section. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. I hope and wish you guys an amazing weekend. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on our green note. Take it easy, team.